your existence is an impossible paradox to solve. The universe needed a conscious being to observe it before it could create that observer. Yet, the delayed choice quantum eraser demonstrated the mechanism that would allow an observation to retroactively determine whether the Big Bang produced an actual cosmos or remained in a quantum superposition. This week's Parsha Beratius encodes what physicists call the strong anthropic principle. Creation and consciousness are locked in a causality dilemma, each requiring the other to exist first. So, which came first? A universe that birthed observers or an observer that brought the universe into reality? The Lubavitcher Rebbe revealed why we proclaim today is the birthday of the world on Rosh Hashanah instead of the 25th of Elul when time began. The Rebbe said, through the creation of man, Hashem established a new definition of existence. Without a divine soul to recognize it, the world as meaningful reality simply did not exist. This is echoed by the paradigm-shifting idea that physicist John A. Wheeler postulated, where observation gives tangible reality to the universe back to the beginning. Adam's consciousness on day six retroactively created the prior five days. Created in God's image, we inherited this power to actualize reality through observation. But this reveals an even deeper paradox. Why would Hashem bind the fate of his own cosmic plan to the choices of finite beings that depend on him? Chapter 33 of Tanis states, the purpose of every person is to make a home for Hashem in the lowest realm. This essential desire transcends reality itself. Even though the blessings of Shema remind us that Hashem's essence recreates the world every instant from nothingness, He bound His essential plan's fulfillment to our mitzvah performance. While we are dependent on Him for our existence, He chose to become dependent on our free will to culminate His ultimate purpose of creation. This core spiritual paradox is the source of the physical one. The manifestation of the universe requires an observer because Hashem desires a meaningful relationship with us in order to complete His cosmic production. How can internalizing this insight transform your soul's personal mission? When you place a coin in a charity box, you perform a quantum-like measurement on reality. The Semach Sedek reveals in his commentary on Bava Basra 9b that your final coin does not just complete the sum. It retroactively elevates all previous donations into one powerful act. This is the quantum eraser's spiritual blueprint. Present actions alter what you accomplished in the past. Each dollar donated fulfills Hashem's desire that predates existence. As the Talmud states in 198, redemption will only come through charity. The revelation of His essence in the Messianic era waits for you to actualize it with one conscious mitzvah at a time. I would like to thank our sponsors this week, Sea Kids Gun Israel Florida, for their tireless work throughout the year that they do to set up a camp for boys in third through eighth grade. Most of these boys would not be going to a Jewish camp if it wasn't for Rabbi Levi and his wife Chaya. Give to their cause today and you'll see the power that your donation makes to having a real life effect on a child, especially as they grow and are closest to Judaism. And it could all be because of your generosity. The link is below in the description. If you'd like to sponsor one of these classes in memory or honor of a loved one, reach out to make a tax-deductible donation. 
And remember to sign up for my newsletter so you don't miss the sneak peek of my upcoming Torah and Science book. And remember to click here to see similar videos in this Torah and Science series. Lastly, click the share button to spread these unique insights with family and friends.